Hello and welcome to the Pragma Filmmaker, or PFM. This tutorial will give you a brief introduction to PFM and its interface to get you started. Every tutorial is made up of slides like this one. You can move the text box around by clicking and dragging it with the mouse. Some tutorials are voiced, in which case you can toggle the audio using the audio button to the top left. To the top right, you can see which slide you're on and how many are left for the current tutorial. You can click the Continue button to go to the next slide or quit the tutorial at any time by pressing End Tutorial. By default, the main interface of PFM is split into three sections, Data, View, and Animation. The highlighted section to the left is the Data section. Here you can find various panels for creating and editing actors, exploring and downloading assets, etc. Some panels, such as the Actor Editor, are already open by default, but you can find more available panels by pressing this button in each section. Every section has different panels available. On the right-hand side, you can find the View section. As the name implies, this is where you can find the primary viewport, the render panel, etc. Last but not least, the Animation section at the bottom. Here you can manage film clips, edit animation data in the graph editor panel, etc. We'll go into the details of each panel in later tutorials. There are several ways you can change the layout to your personal liking. To start with, you can click and drag these dividers to resize certain sections of the interface. Try dragging the divider now. You can also click this icon to the top right of any panel to detach it from the main window. This is especially useful if you want to work with multiple monitors. Try clicking the icon now. Once you've detached a window, you can resize it and move it around like any other window. To reattach it to the main UI, press the close button, X, on the top right. This will close the window and move the panel back to its original position. Try reattaching the window now. In addition, you can also change the core layout of the interface by selecting one of the preset options in the View menu in the menu bar. Try changing the layout now by choosing View Layout, three underscore columns. As you can see, the UI sections are now divided up into three columns instead of two. Other than the predefined presets, custom layouts can be added by creating new layout preset scripts, but that would exceed the scope of this tutorial. For now, we'll revert back to the default two-column layout. Once you have arranged the interface to your liking, you can save the current layout state by selecting View, Layout. Save current layout state as default. The next time you start PFM, this layout will be restored automatically. The current layout is also stored in the project file, so opening a PFM project will restore the layout that was used when the project was last saved. If you need assistance, you can find useful resources in the Help menu in the menu bar. Here you can find direct links to open the online documentation, join the Discord server, check out the online bug tracker, or restart this tutorial. This completes this introductory tutorial. You can now move on to other tutorials by opening the Tutorials panel. Here you can find all available tutorials, which are ordered by category. Watch out for the colored circle to the top right of each tutorial, which indicates its difficulty, with green being the easiest and red the hardest. Some tutorials are numbered, which means they are part of a series. While possible to start the tutorials in any order, it is generally assumed that you have completed all preceding tutorials. To begin with, it's usually a good idea to familiarize yourself with the interface a bit more before jumping into any advanced topics. Open the Interface category to continue. You can now start the Interface Tutorial series by double-clicking the icon for the Viewport tutorial, or if you'd like to do something else, end the tutorial by clicking End Tutorial.